Welcome to Q&A Selling Online with answers to questions about creating an online empire, promoting products, or building a brand. Your host, private label and e-commerce entrepreneur, Quinn Amorm. Welcome back, my friends. This is Quinn, and you are listening to the Q&A Selling Online where I talk about Amazon. Now, today there is no guest. It is just me, and I'm going to tell you about a few things. One of them is on the Q&A Selling Online blog, qnaSellingOnline.com. The contact form was not working. So anyway, anybody that tried to send messages would get an error. I could not see that error because every time I look at it, I'm logged in and my messages would be approved. So I tested it and I just realized I'm just not getting enough until somebody told me. So if you did message in the last I don't know how long, uh, weeks, maybe a month or so. I didn't get it. Uh, if you did see the notification, feel free to go back there. I actually replaced the whole thing. Contact form number seven wasn't working, so I got a new a new app to send and receive messages. It is working, and I already started getting them today. So I got one here from Eric Laramie that is actually living next door, I guess. He does live in Edmonton, St. Albert, and I am in St. Albert. So, Eric Laramie, shout out to you. I did get your message, and I see you have your phone number in there, so I'm going to call you after this, and uh, we'll meet up for coffee. As for the podcast, the rankings are amazing. I've been checking uh, other countries now. I am the top 15 most heard entrepreneurship podcast in Vietnam, Um, the 25th most heard entrepreneurship podcast in Switzerland. So shout out to you guys. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at French or else I would say something here in French. Another thing that it does suck is that in Canada, I am not in the top 200. So Canada and the US, of course, there's a lot more competition too. But it makes me happy to see these stats and I've been checking them out lately. Uh, for the first couple of years, I didn't check any of these stats. So I don't know what I was missing or if I did miss anything at all, but I do check them and uh, it makes me super happy. So thank you for everybody listening, wherever you are listening from. As for Amazon, there is something that I want to touch on. And it is when you hear a lot, there's a lot of experts out there, a lot of real experts, fake experts. It doesn't matter. Most people are giving the same advice on something that I don't agree on. So I'm not going to say that I am the one that's right. But I'm going to give you my point of view on something. And it is the fact that you should test before you launch a product. Now, I probably have said this in the past as well because uh, we do get influenced a lot by, by others. This is my own experience. And every time I have done a test launch means I do not launch with sufficient inventory, right? If it's a test, I'm, I just have... 50 or 100 units of something and I'm testing it. When it's a test, you don't put in all the effort that you should into launching a product, right? Because it's just a test. If it fails, it fails. Of course, tests are more likely to fail than a true launch. When you're doing a true launch, you put everything you can into that launch. You're going to be launching probably a more than likely one product at a time. So though all those efforts can go into that one product or that one, uh, yeah, one product. And there's another very important thing that I notice when doing a test launch is, uh, so two more things. One is the fact that you may run out of inventory on your test launch, right? Because your quantity is limited, you will run out of inventory. And You lose that momentum if you had any. Another thing is that initial setup of a product, Amazon gives you like some people call it the um, honeymoon stage where Amazon gives you a bit of extra love to see what your product is capable of doing. If you launch as a test, that honeymoon stage, and those are not my terms, I believe Kevin King named it like that that honeymoon stage will disappear throughout your test. So when if the test is successful, by then you are done on your 
higher chances of ranking, right? Because when you do launch something, Amazon has to figure out uh, if you should rank for, you know, the collagen peptides or not, or if you should rank for a Bluetooth speaker or whatever it is the product that you're trying to rank. They want to see if you become relevant and if people do start buying your product, right? So they have to give you somewhat of a benefit in, com- in comparison to the products that have been selling now for two years and are the number one ranked for collagen peptides or a Bluetooth speaker or whatever it is. And if nobody sees your product, nobody will ever buy it. So that is how you are somewhat um, given this benefit when you launch. And then there's another thing is that uh, you could be a hot new release if you come out of the gate selling a lot of things. And if you do a test phase, you will never get that because by the time you reorder, get selling again, your your real non-test products, you have lost that initial, uh, I believe it's 60 days that you can be a hot new release. Don't quote me on this because it could be 90. I, I remember checking this, but um, I, I'm not 100% sure now if it's 60 or 90 days, you can be a hot new release. But that honeymoon stage is definitely not 60 days long. It is at max one month to rank your keywords and get your product up there with high visibility. After that, you are just like anybody else, right? Any other product. So what am I trying to say here is when you are looking to source a product, make sure you do your research properly so you know if it is going to succeed or not. I mean, you will never be 100% sure that your product is going to succeed But if you do thorough research, you're going to know that there is a very good chance that it will succeed or not. And if it has that very high chances of success, not what Jungle Scout tells you that the high chances of success are or hitting them or whatever. It's the, the chances that you see after doing your research, that you see that, yes, this product will fly. I should launch it. Now, launch with with enough inventory that you can do a, a proper launch, not a test launch, and I mean, and get your rankings and get keep going, get the snowball effect, so you don't lose momentum just testing. Because if you keep testing, you will most of the times keep failing. Like I said, because the test is not as important as a real launch. Even mentally, when you mentally tell yourself this is just a test. You, of course, you don't have that fear because it's just a test. It's 50 units. So what? If I don't sell them, uh, I'll just uh, put them on eBay or give them away to charity or whatever it is, right? And and I only lost a few hundred bucks. But that kind of thought is already halfway halfway through, through a failure, right? So make sure that every product that you launch is considered a launch. It's not a test, okay? If I have said that in the past, disregard. Don't even call it a test. Call it always a launch so you psychologically know it is a launch and you're you're not just doing a test, right? And another thing is your listings. Do not make your listings two months before you get your product. Try this. Get your listings. uh, Write them down, of course. Write them down on a Word document or a Google document so it's live and if you have a team, they can check your Google Docs and all the documents are live there. This is just another um, bit of advice for something that I'm doing now. All my documents are live. Then I can give access to team members that are going to check things. And if they want to change something, I will have a live version of that document changed as well. So that's why it's so cool to have Google Docs and Google Sheets. And of course, it's 100% free. So have a look into that. But getting back to the subject. Write your listing offline and have it ready. Then when the product is almost here, then you upload your listing, right? You have your title written, your bullet points, your backend keywords. Have everything ready and make sure, since you're going to do it offline, make sure that this is a product that does not need ungating, right? Because you're only going to know when the product is on the way, so make sure you know it doesn't need ungating. Make sure there it's there's no hazmat review that the product doesn't have any batteries. If it does, make sure to fill your SDS sheets or anything that requires SDS sheets. Make sure to to fill those, 
and have it, uh, have them ready to go. So put your listing up as the product is on the way to Amazon already. Put your listing up so you can get the benefit of launching and getting sales immediately. Because even a list, a listing that is created and closed, right? A lot of people say create your listing and close it. It is still entered in the catalog and that timestamp is entered into that catalog. Doesn't matter if you go in the back end of your listing and you change your dates or not, right? It is timestamped into the catalog so Amazon knows when you have entered or when each SKU has entered the catalog. And before I let you go, if you are in Canada or if you want to fly to Canada, I will be speaking in Edmonton February 8th. Uh, that is between 1 and 6. At the best, Western, there's a, let me see, I can put a link probably here on the show notes if you want to check the show notes. It will be the best Western February February 8th. There will be a few speakers. There will be one-on-one coaching, 20-minute sessions. The event is, a, there's a $20 entry fee and the one-on-one sessions, all of that is included. This is not internet mastery or anything like that. So there will not be any sales pitches. This is actually just talking about Amazon, telling you some tips, tricks, what to do. Uh, will not be trying to sell you any software or anything like that. So feel free to show up. I'll have the link on the show notes, qasunnyonline.com. If you are listening to this before February 8th, this will still be on the first page of qasellingonline.com. So that's all you have to do. Go to qasellingonline.com. On the very first home page that you will see, there will be this episode. Check out the show notes there. You can get the link. And yes, you can contact me now at qasellingonline.com. There's a contact form that is working there. I apologize for those of you that tried it before. And uh, thank you very much. Remember, start grateful, stay positive, and always profit.